Um, we'll buy these two. What am I looking for here? I don't want to get a pan. I think I just want a broom. Sheesh, that's a lot. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> ah, probably. I do play every day. That makes sense. I think I want to try, uh, since we have this leather armor, I think I want to try the new, um, way of getting the empowerment versus healing herb and, and heart. We're going to try a different way of getting empowerment since we have leather armor here. <clears throat> I don't know if it'll work well. I have not yet successfully done it well, so. But since it's, we have it and it's round one, I just feel like I might as well. I'm going to sell this as well. Give me a total. Just do that. That's a lot of hours, but um, I'm hearing you're also just a genius. You think so? That means a lot. I don't think so. I think I'm fucking shit at the game, low key. <laughs> but I appreciate that. I try to play, but I find myself to buy always the same items over and over. I feel that honestly. I, like when it comes to this game, sometimes <clears throat> you just have to like lose you know what i mean like you just you just have to you just have to lose sometimes lose enough to where you stop caring about your rank and then it'll like open your like when you have a lower rank it'll kind of just open your mind of like trying new builds and trying different you know but when you're like high rank and you don't want to lose you kind of just go with all reliable all the time because that's you know it's all reliable you know it's good you know how to play it you don't want to lose you know, but when you have like a lower rank, you kind of just don't care about losing and you just go with whatever or you just try to be a little bit more experimental and, you know, try new things. Seeing this healing herb here, not buying it hurts me. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I haven't seen that. It makes me want to go to heart route. I'm not going to lie. It makes me want to go heart. I will need one more healing herb. You know what? We're gonna buy these two. I'll go both. Whichever one happens first. Whichever one happens first. I wish I got me an amulet of steel. I force builds too much. I have to learn to just go with what the game throws at me. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that's the best way of grinding rank. Just have like three builds in your head of whatever class you're rocking. Just have like three builds in your head and then just W key those three builds depending on what the game gives you will depend on like, you know, which one of those three builds you you W key And then morning likely you'll you know, you'll win <laughs> But it's really hard to rememorize all three builds <laughs> That's what I've had problems with actually trying to rememorize all three and knowing you know which all three builds need or whatnot i think we lose the spikes yeah hungry blade is looking nice do we sell shell totem for hungry blade probably we don't have bag of stones we can't utilize the empowerment to its fullest potential because we don't have bag of stones which means we're selling the shell totem for the hungry blade And that is the last regeneration we need. So it looks like we're just gonna go hard anyways. <laughs> <clears throat> I love the juggling as you do this, uh, do stuff. The aim is crazy. You mean like juggling the items? <laughs> you know, once you do it so much, you, you start doing it subconsciously. Or are you just thinking? It's weird. It's like tapping your finger on the, whoa. Well, oh, that's an unhealing build. This basically sets you up for on the healing build. Interesting. You know what I've never tried before? Would that even work? A thorn bloom unhealing build? I mean, the maximum health wouldn't work realistically, right? Like that wouldn't work, but it would be pretty cool. You have like double sustain. What's the ghost? It's one of the best uniques in the game. Basically, it deals 30% uh, of your healing. It's dealt as damage. 
Um, and then every three seconds, it uses a random buff to heal for 10. So, yeah. It's one of the best in the game, and it's really good for an unhealing build. Because the unhealing build, you heal to deal damage, and this just goes hand in hand with that. And it would be pretty solid with my current deck anyways, because I have uh, Hungry Blade, so all of the vampirism that I, you know, heal with myself, that'll just deal extra damage. So basically, every time my weapons hit, they hit twice. It is also cute, yes. We're gonna try that. I'm gonna try unhealing build. Uh, unhealing, um, infinite impairment, thorn bloom build. What in the world am I looking at? Looking at danger. <laughs> Man, I can't believe we lost that. Granted, we did somehow lose all of our vampirism. Like, where did all our vampirism go? This? No. I actually don't know where all my vampirism went. No idea. Well, this kind of sets me up pretty nicely. Not gonna lie. It sets me up really nicely, actually. Which one do I go for, though? Reverse? Yeah, but my vampirism was like disappearing after the cars had already flipped. I should have looked into it, but I, I believe that had, you know. Yeah. I love throwing items into other items. <laughs> yeah, when you're juggling them. Yeah. <laughs> Same. That's crazy. They have awesome build ideas that they have, um, that they add in the game. They do. Yeah. There's a lot of builds in the game that you can go for that are pretty damn awesome. And the more items they add, the more builds we could try. The ghost? What about the ghost? Are you asking what it does? I don't know what to go for. I could like, cause we're going unhealing build. So obviously I need this mana orb to turn into a magic staff. 8, 19, 11, 12, 13, 14. How much stamina usage is the magic staff? Is it still, is it lower? Does it like assume less stamina when it becomes a magic item? And it's a 0. 0.6, so it goes from what, a 0. 0.7 to 0. 0.6? Yeah. Cause I, I'd have to rock the thorn whip with the magic staff, more than likely. Oh, the freaking ghost, you're right. It griefed me. <laughs> I forgot about that. Crap, man. Damn. I mean, in that case, yeah, I need this mana orb so I can consume the mana instead. What if it gave me a freaking broom? Damn it. Okay, this this is weird. This is weird. <laughs> Crap. Uh, Because I need my vampirism. And it's just going to eat it for a simple tin heal. I'd rather have my vampirism. I could also get this. I mean, I'm gonna need this, you know, regardless. But at least it gives me spikes, and the ghost can eat that instead. <laughs> eat the spikes instead. But if I get this, and I'm selling this. And then my vampires won't even matter because I won't even have it. Whoever said that was smart, I was so lost. I know, right? We're on the same boat. <laughs> I was lost too. Okay, we're gonna force the build. We're forcing the build. The build is being forced. Hopefully I can force it. I need three gold. <laughs> Cause I need space. I need three gold to get this. The only thing I could get rid of is this leather armor, which I kind of don't want to get rid of that. And then the food. I can get rid of all my food and get it. But I want this banana. Rocking both of these weapons, like I kind of want the Unless I just don't put all of the healing herbs in. Then I mean, maybe. We 
or something. I mean, that's not bad, right? Sell the cards. I can't. I need the cards. To be more specific, I need four regeneration. I need at least for the for the ideal build that I'm going for, I need four regeneration and I also need the starter clovers. The starter clovers are gonna feed the giraffes once we get the and then the four regeneration is gonna proc the heart for the empowerment to get infinite empowerment. So I this is like essential. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Oh no! I'm still gonna force it. I must try my hardest. The smarter play here is to sell this and probably get this cauldron or even a lock turn lock lifter. But no, I can't do that. The build must go on, the force must happen. I don't know what to do here. I feel like I have to like try to go in one specific direction. Let's see here. Um, maybe our best bet is is like some mana generation. Utilize the magic staff. That might be our best bet. Because we are nowhere near close to getting the impairment. Like we need a heart. We need toads. We need giraffes. Trying to roll to get that is probably going to end up in an L. So maybe I just go for mana generation, which still means toad. So toad would be ideal. Toad and blueberries. Toads and blueberries would be ideal here. So I'm just going to put all these down and hope for a toad blueberry. If I see a stay on a potion, that wouldn't be bad, though. Wowzy wowzers. Okay. Okay, um, let's see what we can do. Oh. We'll move you. I uh, give me a thorn bloom. Um, I guess you can go over here. Is this a dark item? It is. Wait, are there any other uniques with um, tags? Oh, there, there are. That's a dark. That's a dark magic. Dark fire. Okay. Food nature. Okay. A little surprise. That was a dark item. Well, not really, but kind of helps. I mean, if that's the case, and I look, you want to put him next to uh, Mr. Struggles, which I guess, I mean, maybe I can. I move this. My cards have to go somewhere though. So there's that. But I mean, maybe I could just like. I want two stars on her. Am I able to get that? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. Um, how do I feel about this? No mana generation. No stamina generation. <laughs> I mean, at least we have a heroic potion. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. And they're not looking like they're doing that great either. They got sh a lot of economy. They don't have any regeneration. So I'm not really scared about Hungry Blade. They don't have any clovers or any crit. So I'm not really scared about that, I guess. It's pretty, this looks pretty even. We're so dead. Hey, look what we're going against. This looks pretty even. They're doing just as bad as us. Just as bad. <laughs> this is like one of those battles you see on like round freaking seven or something. But hey, we got a thorn bloom now. So there's that. Do I get, I did not mean to do that. Do I get space? Whoops. Wrong keys. Wrong keys. Um, because I don't need leather armor. So I could literally sell this for like that much space. Even though it's helping me right now. 
I eventually just don't want to have it anyways. We already got a thorn bloom. So I guess the only thing we need now is just the W key, the infinite build part of the build. That's it. That's all we need. We don't need cards. I just need this guy to give me items. And I need the dark, you know. Um. But yeah. Yeah. No. Mm, actually, I do need this corrupted heart. That I do need. Do I want to spend seven gold on it now? Not really. Not really. I took my chances and I got me a blueberry. Was it worth it? I don't know. I think so, maybe a little bit. Okay, I'll stick with this. <laughs> Another person not doing very good. Heart of Darkness sucks. Since we got two items that take our buffs. Three, actually. Burning banner removes buffs. This steals it and this takes it. We're, we're, we're buffless. We will leave this battle buffless. The Magnus staff isn't doing shit. <laughs> I'm not going to generate nearly enough blueberries for that at all. And then Ripshaw Blade is here. My regeneration is gone. <laughs> My spikes is gone. Empowerment gone. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> oh, you proc this too, you mother sucker. <clears throat> Ripsaw is crazy, right? I mean, we're still pretty even though, to be fair. Okay, I think we win. I don't know how. I guess we just out DPS 12, 14, 7, and 7. Okay. I guess we just out DPS, which is great. Hey, a giraffe on sale. That is wonderful. Really good, actually. Now I need I need toads and blueberries. That's it. Give me toads, give me blueberries. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Now give me a heart. Alright. I could pick up this other misfortune. That wouldn't be bad. Do I sell leather armor now? I need space to get the setup going anyways. And also give me money to buy both of these. All right, let's see. How do I set this up? Let's see here. I could still do this and probably Okay. Okay. So with this, we get infinite regeneration, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we should. You know, it'd be pretty smart if we just bought this rapier and replaced it with the magic staff. But I still want to do unhealing, so I don't really want to do that. Although I could just buy it next round and that'll guarantee us like a, a few wins versus a magic staff with no mana generation. I think that would be the smarter play. If we wanted to win here, which I kind of do, but if we just wanted to win here, rapier would more than likely be like the smarter play here just sell this and get a rapier but i want to do unhealing so no <laughs> yeah we did <laughs> we're big dead super dead even gino dead i don't need any more giraffes that's kind of nice looking I want a heart though. I really need a heart here. Another toad. 
That'll be good for our mana generation. All we need is three. That'll generate us three every turn. Might as well get it. Yeah, okay. Uh. Now let's not go against a burst build. Let's not have that happen. God dang it. God dang it! There we go. Maybe I should put the star slots on the thorn bloom instead. Maybe. I think so. I don't think that did anything. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Mm. Mm. There we go. Okay, I really need a heart, though. <laughs> if I don't get one, we're fine. <laughs> ah! I don't like jinxies. Nice. The fool's card is nice, though. Max is- yeah, Max is definitely satisfying. Hmm... I don't think it would matter too much. Yeah, me no get. I need a heart! Okay, I'm happy now. The world is now a better place. I don't- I don't need this lover's card either. We can get rid of this. I can get rid of that for some space, maybe? Oh, the game audio went crazy. I don't know why it does that. I've been noticing that lately. I think it's got something to do with like OBS or something. Because I've noticed it in my recordings as well. It'll just go crazy. It'll come back. It doesn't last too long, but it is pretty annoying. I didn't even need to do that. I could just do this. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, this should be fine. This should perfectly be okay. I want this and I'll get space, but we have four regeneration. So heart should proc, giving us two empowerment. We should have two clovers, two empowerment, and then we should just have infinite empowerment. Unless we go against someone that sucks. Otherwise known as someone that's better than us, but still, other than that, we should... Why is that like that? <laughs> God dang it. Anyways, um, yeah, we should just get infinite empowerment from this. A corrupted crystal is what we need now. Corrupted crystal, and obviously we need the potion to make that thing on healing staff. Oh. Okay. Okay. We might be okay. If everything goes well, like we planned, we might be okay. Okay, I think we're okay. Because we still get the mana generation from the toes and the blueberries for the magic staff, the damage increase. Not that we needed it because we get the damage increase from the empowerments anyways, but I mean, it does help. For the most part. I'm surprised we haven't stamped out. We have no well, I mean we have a blueberry, but still. Extra toad is good. Space is good. That's more mana and clovers. Now we need a corrupted heart and I need that potion. That's the only thing we need. 
Corrupted Heart Potion, another giraffe, but Corrupted Heart Potion. We don't need any more blueberries, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure, I'm sure we're good on that. We're, we're good on that. I am hesitating a little bit. I'm gonna get this. All right, we're selling you. We're selling you. Can I even buy that, bro? I don't even know if I have enough items to sell for it. That's two, that's two, that's four, that's five. I need two more gold. We might be fucked. Um, I mean, technically speaking, I don't need this blueberry, so that'd be one. But at the same time, I could just sell some form of space to get it. I could also sell the banana. Like that is that is certainly an option we have. If I can sell you. Wait, no, that was in the the plan originally to sell. Damn, never mind. I might have to sell space then. If I sell you, can I still do what I need to do here? Probably. Because I could put that there. Um, yeah, that's... Yeah, we're just going to put it there. Best to put it on the giraffes, if anything. Unless I move the giraffes. I can move you up here. And then... No, because you have to go... Wait, wait. No, you have to go over here. Yeah. Yeah, that's not happening. Yeah, we're just going to... Um, and I can just do this. And I can sell you. Right? Where am I going to put the potion? Damn, where am I going to put the potion? I did this. And sold that. And potion can go here. Just move the herbs. Well, the potion has to touch the magic staff somehow. I mean, ideally, I would want two fannies on this, right? That's ideal. But then I need this toad to go here. Because it can't really... I mean... I guess it could go here. It's on one less giraffe. Not really a fan of that. But at least it's on the Thorn Bloom and the Magic Staff. So it still gets, you know, buffs. So it's not horrible. Because this still generates buffs. And this uses them. And then, you know, this generates, obviously. So I guess it's not horrible. I just don't know if that's better than, like, the extra speed. Like 10% versus 20%. I don't know. I mean, maybe I could like... Maybe I could like still do this. And then just move this here. Potentially. That way it's still inside of two fannies. And I'll just do that. Right. Wait, maybe. Well, wait. Then that just goes there. Okay, and we still achieved the goal of two fannies. I mean, the unsettling present isn't, you know, faster. 
Or maybe that's okay? Yeah, maybe that's okay. Yeah, okay, we'll go with this. Maybe that's okay. Please go with someone that's not, you know, doing well. Ah! I don't like these builds. <laughs> a thorn bloom with Tuscan poker, carrot goober, and a super big bowl of treats. Scary build. Very, 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 very scary build. Very scary build. All the food is going to be 20% faster. He's going to get infinite empowerment because he's going to get infinite regen mana. He's getting infinite mana from the bowls. I mean, from the from the blueberries. Eventually, for the clovers. I mean, he only needs four clovers. Yeah, eventually, yeah. I mean, our build is still kind of getting infinite empowerment. So, like, there's that. So, we're both getting infinite empowerment. Let's see what happens, though. Let's see what happens. I think we get more empowerment than they do, so we should benefit from that more. Um, oh, we might be fine. I think we might be fine. Yeah, we're definitely fine. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, unhealing staff. Let's see what you can do with this build. I've never done to you with this build, so I'm a little bit intrigued. Little bit intrigued, my friend. Five manage. I might need to increase my mana generation a little bit for this. I don't think we went from three to five, so I think we need a little bit more mana generation. Okay, so we're still trying to turn this into a dark heart. Still trying to do that. That or like give me the um, the card that gives me empowerment at the start of the game. That would be beneficial here. Just so I can guarantee getting that to empowerment. I mean, at three to four empowerment. Just in case we go against something that removes buffs. It'll help a lot. So give me that. Give me a mana generation something. Uh, that's really about it. Corrupted heart, mana generation card. I guess I should keep this in there then. Um, Maybe another giraffe? I wouldn't mind another giraffe. Honestly. I'm not getting anything I want. Do I want you? Probably not. It would help though. Just to get something this round. Versus nothing. Could also move you over here now. How is Poison Bond and four Scythe build nowadays? I haven't tried that. But I think I remember it being a thing. It sucks. If if it's if it's like the old build you're talking about, it sucks. If it's the old build that I'm thinking of, then yeah. But now people are rocking like the decent build is uh, Forsyth's on a on the Reaper with the like with a bunch of pineapples on the um what is that item called? Poison Ivy. Yeah, four Scythe in a circle around Poison Ivy with a bunch of pineapples. You gain like a shit ton of poison from all the pineapples giving you spikes. That's like the new four Scythe poison build, I guess. I don't know if this is better than this. Because this is realistically, this isn't going to give us enough buffs to make it worth our while. But Staff of Unhealing using up the mana could be nice for the uh, the one Clover and one Empowerment. Nah, this is better. This is just better. We're just going to do this. Okay, this is a build that is scary. Actually, it's not, because why did you not put your prismatic orbs inside of the Nocturne or Locklifter? That was a huge mistake. He's also got a whole blood amulet here that's not inside of there. Literally moving this back by one just makes your build better. Quite literally. One placement backwards is all you need. This is never proccing. What is he doing? 
All right. I was scared when I looked at it, but his placement is fucked. If we lose to this, I'm going to be very upset. Because this placement is literally just not it. Realistically, we shouldn't lose to this, though. We definitely need more mana generation. We need to have this up, like, all the time. But we don't generate enough mana for that. And our stamina is an issue. This is a weird build because this doesn't this doesn't benefit from impairment. Only this does. But I mean, we are getting our infinite health, like maximum health, and we're we are like just healing it like a shit ton. So our survivability is up there. Our DPS maybe not. Survivability certainly. But however, we are now in a sticky situation because I could get this mana orb, but there is a chance that I will get infinite mana from it. And that is bad. Because the weapons hit before the fortune does. So if I were to get this, I'd have to put it on like some slower triggers, kinda, I guess. As long as I don't get more than two mana before the giraffe's proc, or one, or yeah, as long as I get like one, one is fine, two is bad. But the giraffe's proc at 2.1, so we have to put it on something that's slower than 2.1. Which I mean, this is a 2.1, which is fine. It's a 3.5. This is a two. So I guess we're okay. Like I could put it here. This wouldn't be horrible. Not enough salmon, not enough mana. Even so, I think we're okay. Like, I, I just, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. With, like, the stamina issue. I, I just, I think we're, I think we're, I think we're okay. I think to make it better, we just make the thorn bloom slower. Like, we take the Mr. Fatigue off. We take this fanny pack situation out of it. We can keep it inside of the relic case. But the slower this is, and the faster this is, this is going to attack more. We don't care about this attacking. Even though this is our weapon and the only thing that's benefiting from the impairment for like dealing damage, the real reason it's here is for maximum health. I don't mind making the battle longer. <laughs> I really don't mind. I feel like we just have more survivability than like most of the builds out there. So we should win, even if it's winning towards Fatigue. And even so, we still have Unselling Presence. We still get the healing from Toads. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. But yeah, that is an option we have. Just literally just make this slower. And that should just be cool. Okay, this is the card that I was looking for because we gained impairment from this card. But I don't think we can get it right now. Because there's nothing we can really sell for it. But I'm gonna try that real quick. Like just make this slower. Um I don't know. We'll see. Might help. Might nah. Replacement might be okay. I don't know what to do here. I guess I could do this. Where was this? Here? I kind of want to move this here. Oh wait, no, not you. You. I don't want to do that. It means the heart is probably got to go up here. But I realistically wanted to do this. But that's okay. We could just uh, we put you here. We're here. You still get two stars. This can go. Honestly, maybe it's better to not put it on a weapon. All of our weapon triggers are slow. I mean, with this being inside of two fans, it is faster. But, I mean... It is a two second. 20% faster of two seconds is like 1.8. Maybe I'm wrong. But, anyways. If I put it here, that's like, you know... I mean... That sucks. <laughs> Putting it here is not bad. 
Putting it here is even better. So it's like it full triggers. And each of those triggers are uh, slower than... Well, yeah. I think this will be okay. Yeah, I think this will be okay. But we definitely get this next round. We might be pushing our luck a little bit. If we go against that build, I'm telling you, there's a very specific type of build. Any, like, any build with a reverse card, chain whip, uh, a bird, uh, corrupted helmet, any of those items inside of any build we go against right now, we might be fucked. Blind? I mean, we might be fine against blind. Burning banners, okay, you activate at 3.8, that's fine. I mean, I, I guess we don't care about blind. Our damage is with unhealing, so. Dude does have a birdie, though. We might be fine, though. I think we're okay. Because I don't know what weapons this dude's... This weapon situation isn't the best. We might be okay. Won't Chain Whip gas out uh, after Battle Rage? No, the reason why Chain Whip would be bad for us is because it can remove the impairment at the start of the game. So if it hits, it removes one of our impairments, then we start getting infinite of some other buff, then we're fucked. We have to get the infinite impairment for this build to actually work. And Chain Whip can counter that, um, because I believe it'll hit before the giraffes proc. And if that happens, like let's say we start with two clovers and two impairment, Chain Whip hits, gets rid of one of the impairments, we're just gonna get infinite clovers, builds, fuck, you know? Um, but yeah, one hit is all it takes. From, from that. That's why I want to get a Corrupted uh, Heart. Because if we get a Corrupted Heart, um, then we'll get four Empowerment, which is a, a lot more wiggle room for us to not die. What is happening? <laughs> and why are they surviving so hard? I mean, I guess they do have 33 Vampirism with two Hungry Blades. So I guess it's just going to come down to whoever has a better survivability. Unless you get hit for 86 damage. I mean, it should be us. Yeah, we definitely have the better survivability. Not to mention we have storage coffins, so our stamina usage lowers over time. Cool. I don't know how many times this thing procced. A 0.7, or I mean, we do have Mr. Struggles. 0.4 stamina cost though. Oh, I see, makes sense. So it's the first hit, that's the issue. Yeah, the first hit. Depending on what buff it takes. We just need to find a way to counter that. Which, this is a good way. A decent way. Because this gives us three impairment at the start of the game instead of the two that this gives. I'm surprised we haven't found another Corrupted Heart. We found one at the start of the game, but I think it was too early. That's why I didn't pick it up. But we kind of just really need one right now. I mean, it's only three rounds left. But still, we kind of do still really need one right now. We are not going to find one. The double Mr. Struggle has probably helped us out with that build too. The one that we just went against. Removing all the buffs that he was getting. Well, not all of them. But, you know. A decent amount. Does that mean the Ghost Unique could cause an issue? Or is it too slow? It's too slow. It's every three seconds. As long as whatever trigger it is is before that 2.1 because as soon as misfortune procs once then we're good it's just whatever triggers happen before that which is weapons corrupted helmet because it's corrupted helmet it nullifies the buffs that you gain at the start of the game um there's some other reverse card reverse card is another one i think that triggers at like 1.5 seconds that can just steal your buffs right if you gain any which we do gain buff at the start of the game um, yeah. Do you buff slash debuffs timer? I mean, do they stay if not stolen slash cleanse? What, what do you mean? I don't know what that means. I got, I am confused. I am confused. Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> I am what the fuck? I have never seen a 
do like this. This is cool. Double Pandanomium on an Eggy. This is a really cool build. This is a really, really cool build. I am impressed. Very impressed. The fucking six cheese eye. I am very impressed. You did a good job. <laughs> you did a really good job with the placement. Yeah, this build is sweet looking. This is definitely a longevity. Another longevity build. Another one. Except this guy has poison. So he should out DPS us because of poison. Oh yeah, they're cooking. Definitely cooking. The only thing he's lacking is mana generation. That's it. He's only got two blueberries. So when battle rage happens, he's definitely going to be depending on that, um, that two uh, mana that you gain every one second. But he doesn't have anything that makes his battle rage longer, like the collars or anything. So that's good for us. Yeah, this is going to be a good game. His stamina seems way too low. Yeah, that's another issue. He's only got two bananas and none of them are on the Excalibur. But then again, at the same time, it's like... You don't really care about the stamina for Pananomi. You just care about that poison from all the food. But you are right. I mean, the Pananomis are using up your stamina, which means your Aggie can't hit. Um, but the Pananomis don't use up that much stamina. They only use up a point four. So... Game lagged a little bit there. We'll see what happens here, though. This will be interesting. Poison is scary. He'll be able to one-shot us eventually. I mean, if we survive this battle rage mode, I think we win. Oh, no. We're getting tied. The, the, the Namors are getting closer. His battle rage mode needs to end ASAP. <laughs> as soon as possible. Ouch. Okay, his battle rage mode is over. Okay, I think we're okay. Okay, cool. Wow. What a game. 110 poison. He has 74 empowerment. And he almost had as much health as us. Which, I mean, he did have, you know, six cheese. If he had one mana orb, one mana orb could have been the difference there. Literally. Like replacing this garlic with a mana orb and putting a blueberry right there. Oh my gosh. All this man needed was one mana orb. And that's it. <laughs> oh, you think Mr. Struggles mirroring the poison? That is true. 36 poison. That is very true. That is very true. So many eggy honks. Yeah. I guess it didn't really help having the, the toe passes on here either. Food badge would have made this build scarier. Oh, for sure. He did all of this without even a food badge. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah, that was a really cool build. Very satisfying looking as well. Um, Maybe we get a blueberry? I'm looking at this as well. I don't think we need the clover generator. That's the only reason I'd get this is for the clovers. I don't think we need it though. All right. Hey, we got it. Nice. Awesome. All right. Other than that, the build's complete for sure. Um, is there anything else I want? Anything else? I guess just stamina. That's about it. That's the only thing we need to work on, I guess, is just stamina generation. So might as well get this beat hands. Uh, a rabbit? A rabbit would be good, actually. You think we'll be able to get it next round? If that's the case, I'll buy this. And hopefully we can get the rabbit next round. <laughs> Double rabbit. Woo. I think we're fine. 2.17. Ooh. Wow. I didn't even think about a Heart of Darkness. 
on a pyromancer if they just literally you could speed up a heart of darkness to make it proc before the giraffes and it'll just steal the impairment or luck because we only have one regeneration that steals two buffs it'll steal the one regeneration and the other buff will buy to be one of these hopefully it's luck but i mean it's a 2.17 and this is a 2.14 so we should be fine but that's that's another counter i suppose on a pyromancer, specifically on a pyromancer that starts with more than 13 heat like it could be 14 and we might be fucked it's literally a, a point third a point three of a second difference of life or death <laughs> quite literally but i mean we did have the fool's card as well so that gives us that extra empowerment regardless Tin code sucks. I think we're still fine though. Tin code does suck though. Oh, the blind does suck as well. Cause this dude can't hit 55% accuracy. All right, we're fine. I'm pretty sure that 12 empowerment was for me, sir. I guess we don't really care about a blind build though. Cause I mean, we are an unhealing build at heart. So unhealing builds don't care about blind, which is great. All right, and I'll just rat it then. We just need a rabbit and that's, yeah, that's the game if we can find one. Unless this gives me something cool. We do not care about that. <laughs> don't care about that. More blueberries. I don't really need more blueberries. Pass. Another mana orb. I don't think I care about another mana orb. I feel like our mana generation is fine. Yeah, our mana generation is solid. We don't need another mana orb. We don't need another prismatic orb either. I guess we could just get the stamina potion. Running low on gold. Yeah, we'll just get the stamp potion. Stamp potion. Yeah. All right. Here's the build. Never done an uh, infinite uh, empowerment unhealing build with Thorn Bloom. The survivability is pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie. Utilizing unhealing build to heal plus deal damage, maximum health coming from Thorn Bloom, and it can also utilize the empowerment. Shit hits for like a hundred damage. Kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, the way that the build works is you utilize the four regeneration from the healing herbs to insta proc the Heart of Darkness, giving you that four empowerments. Um, and then the Fool's card just helps giving you that just one extra just in case, you know, the pills you go against. You start off with two Clovers from the deck of cards. The Misfortune uses that two Clovers to just start you off ramping up your, uh, your empowerment. And then after that, all the empowerment you gain just increases your maximum health. And then, uh, Staff of Hidden Healing just heals you and deals damage, but mainly just heals you. And that's the build. Imagine if Empowerment increases Staff of Hidden Bro, that would be insane. Imagine if Vampirism did that. Now that would be very insane. Very insane. It'd be best build in the game. I'm happy we got this done. I don't think there's anything else I can do to make this build better. Except maybe move this somewhere else. But now nah, we're fine. We're fine with its location. It's not a bad location. All right, what are we going against? Oh, wow. It's our counter build. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, we might be fucked. We might be fucked. Here's what's going to happen. Okay, first of all, these whelps remove a buff when they hit you. They trigger at 2.1. However, he's starting off with four heat. No, six. Four from this, two from this, which means they're going to trigger before 2.1, which means these trigger at 2.1. So these are triggering before the giraffes, which means there's a high chance we're not getting infinite empowerment. Because we're going to gain five. Four from here, one from here, and there's five amethyst. Unless we get lucky somehow and they take some of the clovers or something 
we have to get really lucky. Not to mention Kappa Discomfort, 15% chance to nullify. Um, so yeah. Then you also get these rebuilds getting up for. So yeah. We might be fucked. It's a high chance. A very high chance. Let's see what happens though. Let's see. Start of the game. Four empowerments. Oh, damn. We start off slow. You make us slower. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. 2.6. 1.64. Yeah. They all hit. Okay. You left me with one empowerment and one luck. We can work with this. We can work with this. Right, giraffes? Right? We, we can maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully we can work with that. All right. Just start with four. Now nah, we're fucked. That's all my empowerment gone. All of it is gone. And now we're getting infinite mana. <laughs> that's our counter build. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's our counter build. Freaking amethyst whelps. Freaking Elm, you just, how did you even get this? How did you even get this build, bro? Oh my. Why do you even have this? You should just sell this and get your stamina potions right. Whatever. It's the last round, it's not even gonna proc it. Whatever, I'm just salty. I got 30% accuracy. The buff removal builds are out of control. They are. They are. At the start of the game, if it happens at the start with fucks and this happened at the start, making us colder, making themselves faster, just just is like the nail in the coffin at that point. Straight up the nail in the coffin. We had no chance. <laughs> had no chance. Either way, that was a good game, though. I had fun.